bribing the head of an entire nation's anti-corruption task force is apparently cheaper and way less glamorous than you might think. Luis Gustavo Moreno Rivera, who served as the director of Colombia's Office of Anti-Corruption, admitted in court today that he could be bought off with about $132,000 and that he'd taken a portion of that money inside a bathroom at Miami's Dolphin Mall. Federal prosecutors indicted Moreno in 2017 thanks to help from Alejandro Lyons Muscas, the former governor of the Colombian region of Córdoba, who worked as a confidential source according to the Miami Herald. Lyons was being investigated for corruption by Moreno's own department when a middleman approached the governor in November 2016 and offered a deal, if the he paid off Moreno, the anti-corruption chief would disrupt the criminal investigation. Moreno said that, for 100 million Colombian pesos, about $34,500, he'd turn over sworn, confidential statements that witnesses had made against Lyons. In April 2017, Lyons flew to Miami to help his wife deliver a high-risk pregnancy. And, while here, the governor apparently did some less-than-legal business on the side, he tipped off Colombian officials in the U.S. Drug Enforcement Agency, DIA, that he was still communicating with Moreno's middleman, a man named Leonardo Luis Pina Gomez. On May 26, 2017, Lyons agreed to meet Pena at the Dolphin Mall, of all places, an outpost in Doral that apparently facilitates both the purchases of cheap guitars at Sam Ash Music and the full-scale bribery of government officials. The Fed said in Moreno's criminal complaint that the governor wore a wire during the meeting, DIA agents also hid nearby and took surveillance photos too. Pena warned Lyons that his corruption charges were imminent, and that, if paid off, Moreno would do what he could to discredit the witnesses against him. Moreno and the governor also communicated via encrypted WhatsApp text messages, which the DIA claims it cracked. In all, the feds say Moreno asked for 400 million Colombian pesos, or about $132,000. The next month, Moreno himself showed up in Miami to, hilariously, give an anti-corruption presentation to the IRS. At the same time, Moreno, Pena, and Lyons met near Moreno's room at La Quinta in Indoral on June 15, with DIA agents again watching and listening. Moreno laid out the governor's own bribery allegations and how he'd help the governor beat the case. Moreno seemed to get paranoid. At one point, he demanded the men speaking outside put their cell phones on the hood of a car to ensure nobody was being recorded. Per the indictment, at one point during the meeting, after the cell phones had been placed on the hood of the car, the car was moved and the cell phones fell off the hood. Marino became agitated and demanded that the CS's cooperating sources phones be found because of the incriminating information encrypted communications they contain. Shortly after this, Marino discovered an additional cell phone the CS had secreted within the vehicle. Marino accused the CS of recording the conversation and began to contradict himself, stating he was not asking for money and that he was sharing information with the CS because he wanted to avoid an injustice in the CS's case. Moreno also allegedly freaked out when Lyons verbally brought up the actual bribe. Marino was recorded saying the bribe was only to be discussed with Pena, his intermediary. The next day, the DIA handed Lyons a manila envelope with $10,000 stuffed inside. The governor handed the money to Pena, who then met Moreno in a Dolphin Mall bathroom and walked out with him and Lyons. All three met at a car in the parking lot, and the D says that the money eventually made its way into Moreno's hands. The DIA says Moreno then sent a bunch of WhatsApp texts asking about the rest of his cash. On June 18, Moreno flew back to Bogota, but before he left U.S. Customs and Border Protection agents found some of the money and photographed it before Moreno was allowed to board a plane. He was arrested on an Interpol red notice in Colombia weeks later and finally extradited to the United States in May 2018. After pleading guilty today, both Moreno and Pena are set to be sentenced in November.